Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, one day left to go before the CDC no sale order is supposed to lift. We'll see what happens with that. In the meantime, there are tons of articles out there saying that a river cruise ship in Europe had had 60 passengers come down ill. 60 out of 90 passengers. Wow, that sounds like a catastrophe to me. But what exactly happened? So the cruise ship we're talking about is a Swiss cruise ship called the Swiss Crystal. It usually holds around 120 to 125 passengers. It's a rather small river cruise ship. It's not as big as some of the big ones that you normally see from Ama Waterways and Viking. Uh, you know, but you know, it holds 125 people. They had around 90 some passengers on board and about 32 crew members, which means they're at about 65 percent capacity 70 percent capacity uh, and they went on their river cruise now 60 passengers apparently tested positive and are in isolation on this ship which is horrible and not great news for the cruise industry and all the articles i'm reading out there now are saying see see we told you we told you that cruising isn't safe and look at this and then i said Wow, I wonder, you know, let's look into what happened. Let's check out exactly how this happened. And the very first thing I see is this was a music cruise. And yes, the passengers on board had to wear masks, but then they brought them all into their little stage area and their dining area, all 60 passengers and probably about 20 of the 30 of the crew members, and a band on board where they all took off their mask, including the passengers, and danced and sang and yodels. It was a yodel cruise, a music cruise. So now you're indoors in a tight, confined space, and you're singing and yodeling on board. Uh, yeah, that's a recipe for disaster to begin with. You know, it's not like you're sitting in a thousand, you know, thousand person sent like a stage show in the cruise ships you know the big huge open areas and you have like 300 people in there no no this would have been packed and jammed and then if they're dancing and singing everyone would have been wanting to be around the band right you want to get close to the music you want to dance around the music you don't want to be way off down around the corner so that's a big problem and they actually encourage them all to take off their masks now that might not have been such a big problem, except one other thing, and this is the thing I hearken on the most with the cruise lines, is testing, testing, testing. And apparently, they didn't require passengers to take a negative test, show a negative test, before getting on the ship. <laughs> well, then you got what you deserve. You absolutely asked for trouble, and you absolutely got trouble from your own stupidity, Crystal, you know, Swiss cruise ship. Uh, like, come on. How do you not test your passengers? How do you not show at least a negative test a few days beforehand? But no, especially with, you know, everything on the rise that's going on in Europe right now, and the new shutdowns and the new enforcement laws that they come out. How in the world do you not test your passengers before getting on the cruise ship? Now, the tests are not 100%, but guess what? 0% of no you know, 100% of no tests is, is 100% you're taking a risk. And, it, it, you know, this is not indicative of cruise lines who follow procedures. Costa Cruise Lines, MSC Cruise Lines, those cruise lines are going, Ada Cruise Lines, those cruise lines are going, they've had cases outbreak, it's been kept to a very minimal isolation, the procedures work, they're testing people, 
everything's working on 2,000, 3,000 passenger ships. Like that's how many are on the boat. Sorry, the ship. People get mad if I said boat, but I'm thinking cruise ship, like river cruise. To me, that's more of a boat than a cruise ship. So they put 60, uh, 90 passengers on a boat that holds 125 and they didn't test a single person. Much smaller confined space. Everybody congregates in the same exact area all the time. No place to spread out very much. A smaller vessel and they didn't test anybody. That's what happened. They didn't follow the right procedures. They didn't do the right testing. And that's why there was an outbreak on the ship. It has nothing to do with the protocols. It has nothing to do with safety standards and everything. It has everything to do with them having almost zero protocols other than wear a mask, everybody wear a mask oh but by the way during this big singing festival and dancing that we're going to be doing and yodeling of all things uh you, you we want you to take your mask off for that does it does it get any stupider than that really does it apparently not so yeah that's what happened there it wasn't again like they're so many people are saying, see, that's what happened. People are touting how well, you know, Europe is doing with their protocols and everything. But look, this is what happened. Yeah, but also point out that they didn't follow the protocols. Don't just say, see, this is what happens. No, no, because they didn't follow, follow the protocols. Mention that the cruise lines who do follow protocols are doing a good job and not and the affection rate is not going anywhere but no no everywhere i read it's looking look this is what happens this is what happens you know i i don't know what more to say other than oh my goodness uh there just seems to be a lot of anti cruise in the media everywhere you look and I, it's nowhere to get around it, right? It's it's when they pick a side, they just pick a side, and they don't look at both sides. And I look at both sides. If a if a if a river cruise, see, I I love river cruises. I love cruising, and I'm calling this river cruise stupid. And I'm a pro cruiser because they didn't follow protocols and they had a yodeling thing where they told people to take off their mask and join in and sing and dance and have a good time with a live band on the ship. Of course, that's a recipe for disaster. And of course, that's the wrong thing to do. And of course, they're paying the price for it. But I'm not coming out and saying, well, you know, guys, uh... Over the overall of the 15 million passengers that had sailed over the course of three years, this is a very minute. No, no, I'm not making excuses for them. I'm calling them out for not doing the protocols. But I'm not going to condemn Costa Cruise Line, MSC Cruise Line, Ada Cruise Line for doing the right protocols. Why would I lump them into the same mix? Right? Why would I do that? Because if you do that, that's just completely unfair to the people who are doing it right. It's completely unfair to people, you know, I, I find it kind of, you know, really, really strange when, when everybody gets lumped into one lump thing because one person does it incorrectly or does it wrong. And that to me is unfair and unjust and you, you know, but the media just loves to, to do that. And they'll just keep pointing it out and pointing it out and pointing it out. And I just wish that they would actually, you know, follow through and actually mention, mention the fact that if they follow the protocols, it's working. If they don't follow the protocols, it's not working. Instead of just saying, see, see, we told you it's not going to work. Oh, well, there's my little rant. <laughs> I, you know, the media just gets me angry because uh, they never, ever go with both sides of the story. And I try my best to go with both sides of the story. I really do. And here, cruiser, love cruising. I'm calling out that cruise line and I'm calling them out big time. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think it's just indicative? Cruise ships are bad. River cruises are bad. Don't do it. 
Or do you think you gotta go with the cruise lines that you trust that are gonna do the procedures properly and they can keep everything under control when we go sailing once again. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. We'll see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world. Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.